Welcome back, everyone, to my Cetra campaign. Let's go look over here at King Setep. What are you doing, my friend? Nothing really. I do want you to go out and fight. But where am I going to have you fight? We're not going to have to clan Moors right now, so it's time for you to move on. Let's have you go up north. They are unhappy, but that can change in time. We've got money, a lot of money to spend, but we need more. Especially if there are special buildings that I want to build up, like over in Numas, I have a unique one to build. What tier do I need for that? Probably tier 4. I'm really not too sure, though. I could go check, and so I will. Okay, tier 3 for that. That would be the Pyramid of Prince Tutan Kanut. The Eternal Prince promises bounty and prosperity to his land in exchange for glorious exaltation, naturally. Okay. That's more growth for everyone. Eventually, we're just not going to run out of magic. I'll get rid of my avenue of monuments. I will miss having that, but I'm going to wait for our buddy to move up north. We can wait. Let's keep on looking around at what else I can build. Like over in Bagar, I can build the Pyramid of King Alcadizar, who's a great king. We'll build that too. All right. I'm going to save up my money then while we wait. King Wakaf, you're over here. Let's have you go over to Grunty Mingol. We have yet to find a large orc army. We've been invading and waiting for them to get to me. Here's Death Gorge. We can finally take that. It's a very tiny location, but it's going to join the Sand Empire, our eternal kingdom. Death Gorge is now mine. A few Necrotechs help me out. As followers, I don't really need that building, so I'm not going to keep it. Look at how close I am to Karak Azgal and how quickly our fortunes changed up. If I conquer everything over here, I can have one army go down and take Lamia and other locations. Yeah, I just want you to find out where they're all at. I haven't actually been down here. Karakar is all alone, and I never really have a huge reason to come down here. I feel like they should put a great treasure down here that would make it worthwhile to come down here and conquer. Okay. What about you, my friend? You're way over here. You have room for two more units, but what do I want to give you? A casket, you say? Take that. I could give you more infantry. Or more Ushapti if I really wanted to, or even another Tomb Scorpion. I have four Tomb Scorpions that are not being used right now. That's pretty wild. I'm not going to give you any archers right now, but I do want to give you a new agent. Yeah, you do have one to pick up. i will need a name pretty soon could give you another one. I might give you a few others. I'm not too sure who it's going to be yet. Okay. What is on here? You're still moving. You're over there in that army. Lamazash, you're currently level 17. Good. What am I going to give you now? I would like to make you mightier in combat, or I could give you campaign abilities. I mean, one more level, you'll have your Kimmerian War Sphinx. And that will change it all up. You know what? We'll do that. I'm going to pick up more replenishment for everyone. I met the unlikely. What shall I give you now? Wound maker. Yeah, we're going to make you hit them hard. What about for technology? What do I want to pick up? Another Lich Priest? Well, I need to make sure that I can make what I want to make. It's going to have to be jar based if I want to pick it up. Okay, here's Henry. Here we go. Master Ceremony. I don't want that. I want to give you our usual magic. You're strong. Death magic wouldn't be too bad. What about light magic? I haven't really picked that up before. Leaf put it. We'll let you join in. Okay. I could have you help out with replenishment or get me more jars. No, for now you're picking up magic. Take all of that. Which means we have more characters to name and backstories to go over whenever I find them. Alright, I think we're pretty much done. Only one location is unhappy and that can change. It will change. Yeah, just give it a turn. And for my technology, I do want another Tomb Prince to go join him. But again, he is kind of exploring out over to the east, which means I believe he's okay right now. Let's go for a new follower. Which one, though? That would make my Tomb Guard stronger. I need a Tier 5 location. That's what I really need. Here we go. Tomb Scorpions. Here out of the Scorpion. The Scorpion Guard could shrug off mortal blows and carve through infantry with horrifying efficiency. That's exactly what I want. Now let's end their turn. Well, time for lore. King Alcadizar declared war on the Vampire Queen, Neferata. He had legions gathered from every other city and forged him into a single masked army. Thousands of chariots raced across the land ahead of vast regiments of archers, spearmen, and battalions of war statues. 
Lamia was smashed to bits and the queen fled with her followers. Unknown to the vampires, they had been guided by the will of Nagash since their creation. He lived far away in his fortress called Nagashazar. And that was over in the mountains to the northeast of Nehekar. The arch necromancer recognized the spot of his own ancient evil and was happy that Lamia was finally corrupted. Here were worthy champions for him to use in combat, drawing them to him. He welcomed the vampires and they became his dark captains. Through them, Nagash began a new offensive against Nehekara, and the two sides fought numerous battles, the outcomes of which would pave the way for the necromancer's return. Get out of here, clan moors. Nobody wants what you're selling. There we go. And I know who I'm going to give that to. He's right over here. He's got quite a few tomb scorpions, two of them. Take that. Take your banner. And here's your own weapon. And a potion of healing because you're new. Okay, I'm going to get rid of another unit. What shall I get rid of, though? I do like all my tomb guard. Yeah, we're going to keep that. Okay, you're not at a very high level. Let's have you move on now. You're going to come way over here to the northeast and help out. And you're heading over to Karanti Mongol. Again, we're conquering everything that we can pick up. These lands will all belong to me. And each time we do that, we get more of a research rate. It keeps on going up. It's beautiful. Okay, I want to make my Tomb Scorpions more powerful. The Ritual of Sock. It is said that a drop of furious venom placed upon the lips of a sacrificial victim will rouse the Scorpion God himself. Level 12. King Wakov. Sun Scorch Bones for you. And over here for your prince, I'm going to give him... And I could give him a chariot. I like him fighting on foot, though. More armor. We're going to buff him out completely. And I do need to give you a Lich Priest, too. You need magic. Magic is very much needed for your army. Okay, Black Tower of Arkin, not ready. Over here, though, in Bagar. Or even... Wow, that's a lot of pyramids that I can build here. What about Antok? Nothing in Antok. Okay. But Bagar, you need to pick up the Pyramid of King Alcadizar. Alcadizar's pyramid stands as eternal proof of his sacrifice to prevent the gaseous nefarious plans reaching fruition. Ten turns for that. And then a gemstone mine. And then later I wait for more money to build a pyramid of King Hata. Everything adds to what I need for later. Okay. And while we wait, who's able to move? You're still building what you need to build. You're down here moving up. I gave you a new army. You need magic too. Yeah, we just need a lot of magic. I've got plenty of tomb princes, but not enough magic. I have a one tomb prince over here, though. Currently traveling around trying to find out what is going on. I want to know where everything is at so that if I do come conquering down here, I know where to go. I don't want to have to wander. That would feel weird and wrong. Okay. Because I've got a little bit of extra money, let's go work in public order on the front lines because we're going to be out here. We might as well subjugate the populace. That's more warriors. Okay, I could keep that. That's an Agrul Migdal, which I've conquered too. I nearly have all the southern badlands. I just need Galbaraz, and then we can heal up, patch up, rest up, and move up north again. I'll probably have Setra head over to Ekrand. And then we'll probably move to the east a little bit, depending on where we need to go. I might leave one army over here to keep on fighting up north, or we might continue up north until we reach Barak Far and conquer all of the Badlands. I need more armies, don't I? Yeah, I really do. I can have another one, too. Sounds good to me. Okay, who am I going to pick up? A scavenger. That's more loot. Trustworthy. Eternal for you. Treacherous for you. Man, that's pretty cool for Tomb Scorpions. I do have a lot of Tomb Scorpions, so I might as well begin to pick that up. You know what? Alright. So you're cutting a level 7. I do like that. But anyway. Look at that. Level 7. We get more jars and raise the banners. Now, units will be cheaper to recruit, which is funny because that doesn't actually benefit me. But they will have one experience Chevron. Take Route Marcher. I kind of want to give you a few things down here to really help out with your replenishment and help of your units. But... If you're going to have units to fight for you, we need to figure that out. Okay, make your scorpions better, actually. Hold on. Let's go back over here. Done. Come over here, and then over here. Done. Now, my scorpions will be much better. 
plus 8 to melee attack, plus 12% to weapon strength, and plus 12 to charge bonus. Look at these chevrons. All right, they're going to be very talented from the very beginning. I'm going to give you four. He's going to have a scorpion-based army. I'm going to actually give him that other follower that I had from my other army under Hutep. We'll take that. And you're going to need a few agents, too. Could give you horsemen. You'll need one Ushabti. I'll give you one horseman group. And then take that. Yeah, he's going to have a pretty elite army. I dig it. No archers there. It feels a little bit weird. Hold on. I'm going to change it up a bit. I wish I had one more halberd uniform, but I do not. Okay, what am I going to give him instead? I could give him a few archers, yeah. I'll give him three. I don't need four. Three will be sufficient. That should do it. Okay. Now we need more magic and other things too. There's so much for me to manage. Like there's so much for me to go over because I don't have the money to just like spam my buildings right away. I kind of did want to use another army to go scout things out for me, but that'll work. I just need to overwhelm my foes and we have a lot of elite stuff. Okay, man. You don't really have too much, do you? What do I have your army focusing on? Tomb Guard. You've got a lot of basic things. I mean, you don't have like a lot of crazy stuff, but. Okay. That'll make Tomb Guard stronger. Okay, we'll take that. With Gilded Bones and Magically Honed Blades, the Golden Host of Marak were the glory of the Third Dynasty. We lose more jars, but we'll get more jars as we begin to fight more and more. You do have him, but he's going to have more. There you go, man. We'll make him a little bit stronger. Okay. And now we can end a turn. It's pretty interesting to me how mythology has really developed over time. When you think about the Egyptians, the gods are seen as cruel and foreign to them. They had the shapes of creatures. Whereas the Greeks, I mean, they really humanized their gods. What was really inhuman were the creatures that heroes had to fight. So it's pretty interesting how they kind of developed. And I really wonder why it happened to go down that route where astrology wasn't as huge of a part of their culture as it was for other cultures too. Anyway, I could talk about mythology quite a bit. I've been trying to read a lot more lately. I've been bringing it up a lot. I've been reading Dune, now Dune Messiah. I've been reading a book on just various things and it's been good. It's funny, now that I'm older, I actually enjoy learning a lot more. I did to a certain extent when I was younger, but much more now. Study of humanity and their development. Anyway, you're out of Marak. You're over here. Very good. We need to give that to an army that has a lot of Tomb Guard. Well, what's up? You've got a lot of Tomb Guard. Here you go. 10 more armor, 12% more weapon strength. They're going to be pretty tough. Pretty darn tough. Okay, La Mizash, I'm going to have you come up now. You've got a lot of locations to break down, don't you? Let's go find out what we have up here. They still haven't come down to find me yet. It's interesting. Level 15. Okay, Hadesh the Undaunted. I'm going to give you Power Drain. Research available. Let me look at my money. 11,000. I need more money, though. Mm -hmm. I want to build all of my big structures before I do anything else. Like, I want my building over in Kasabar. I want to look in every province to make sure that I'm building all that I need to build. I do have... Oh. it's actually really good. Hold on. I'm going to get rid of you then. You're leaving. Okay, for technology. Let's go work on making our Tomb Scorpions even more powerful than before. Yeah, he'll be ready in a few turns. It's actually not taking that long. Five turns soldier to get all of that. Not bad. Okay, walk off. Let's have you move. Nothing over here yet. Go to Dragonhorn Mines. Yeah, give me that salt mine real quick. And get all these Orc Tears. One more turn to go, and then he'll be ready to attack a very large location. It has a very large settlement. And for trade. Can we engage in any trade right now? Talea actually likes me a lot. 
And then we have Last Defenders who like me. We've got Order of the Lore Masters who are over here. They don't really care for me too much. Most factions still do not. I do not have a lot of treaties going on with a lot of factions. But Talia is also very weak too. They have lost like probably every army now. They're, They're having a really rough time. They're fighting orcs and that's probably why they love me. They're like, you know what? You're not so bad. I'm untrustworthy right now, so no one's going to want to treat you with me anyway. Maybe when that changes up, it'll be better. But for now, no. I do wish diplomacy was a little bit easier to engage in in some ways, or it was at least a little bit more logical. I would definitely like that. No, I'm not going to spend my money right now. I need to go look at every army that I'm currently moving, so you'll be ready one more turn. You're moving up. Level 13. Okay, let's give you Woundmaker again. It's good that they're more powerful. Yeah, I'm going to be moving three armies up here together. There's a lot of buildings for me to take out, and I want to conquer everything in the mountains, and it's a little bit hard for me to move into the mountains because of the fact that I cannot use the underway, but they can. It actually would be cool if the books of Nagash were applicable to some other factions, like vampire counts maybe. That would give more of a reason to travel around the world. But it would also be cool if you could engage in diplomacy to where you didn't have to fight certain foes, because that, oh, that was like a pretty cool part about Medieval 2 if you played it right. Certain factions might leave you alone. Like if you had very strong armies bordering their lands, they would actually usually leave you alone. They're like, okay, we can't just take them out. And that would be cool to do, because I would like to do that as the vampire count so that I could go elsewhere. That would allow you to go fight in other directions. But it's like, every time I play as the Empire, I don't really have a choice. I have to fight the vampire counts. When at times I would like to actually go to the new world, like directly, which would be cool. Mechanics permitting that would be a lot of fun, I think. And I'm not saying to like deny their capability to fight you completely, but it would be cool if like maybe if a war dragged on for so long, they would get tired of it and then they would be, okay, let's stop. There's like a lot of little things that I think would be really cool to have. That's a really cool looking temple. It's huge too, dear God. Tier five, no wonder. Is that it? All right, I have one more building to find out about, which is over here to the east. All right, you're a prince too. I don't know your backstory yet, so I'm not gonna give you one of these special abilities, not yet. Tomb Strike. All right. Yeah, when they get up here, we're going to have so many armies fighting all together. Going after all of my enemies, and it's going to be beautiful. Okay, Setra, I know you're ready. Walk off. Come over here. Let's go fight. I'm going to give you two siege tires. I don't want you to be there forever, but we will need to fight that out. Ekron actually doesn't have any upgraded walls. Cool. Okay, 18,000 gold. Let's come down to where I wanted to go, to Kaz Sabar, and build my Pyramid of King Hatep. The Lich Lord commanded his Great Pyramid constructed so that in life and beyond all will know his resilience and dedication. Buildings will be cheaper by 5% and in all regions their building time will go down by 20%. Whoa! That's actually the good one. And then over here more money and also public order too so that does work out. We're getting a lot of corruption though. It's beginning to bug me. I'm going to destroy a building over here in Antok and build something to kind of diminish that. Uh, osmosis is what is going on. I'll have to eventually destroy them all for that. I've built most of what I wanted to build, so let's go work on getting rid of more of that untainted issue. Or lack of it is really the problem. Okay, Lamazash, let's have you come over to Karakai Skull now. Crap. I might actually lose entire units if I don't fight it out. Okay, you'll have to build two as well. As I've proven to you in, in the past, whenever you even have like that little of a block left in the in the overall like balance of power, you could still lose a lot of units and I don't really want to engage in that. Then I'll have to wait behind and recruit for a bit. All right, Setra, it's finally time for you to go to war. Let's go now. I think I'm probably going to move Setra back to his Kimrian War Sphinx. If I didn't already do that, I will do it after our current battle, fighting a Haas Cub, the Mighty Shaman. I do hope that once a few more mods are updated, I'll be able to play my orc in Returning a campaign, they're not quite done yet, and I want to finish them. I'll probably put up one video of each, like every other day. We can alternate days. I think that'll be cool. Okay. We're going to take over part of their wall. That's what we do. Cetra, you're going to be on the front lines. 
And I want my elite units to move all together. You know what? Nikov, personal champion, let's go. All of you will move together. Here are my archers, I'll move them in later. Shop here over here too. You know what, archers, I'm gonna have you on the front lines then. Let's gamble for more magic. That's what we'll do. Kepper guard, you usually take a lot of damage when you're being shot up. Anyway, let's go now. All of you move up. Archers, I want all of you to move up. Ushapti, you'll go after, let me go look at it. Those are biggins, okay. Well, if you want to kill them, go kill them. And then on the front lines, let's go to the gate. We're all moving together today. And the army goes now. We have constructs galore. Even creepy crawlies too. It's a good thing they didn't have me named the faction units. Creepy crawlies, I would call these the uh, dude boys. Oh wait, these would be the arrow dude boys. Uh, let's see. My actual dude boys would be back here. Commencer angry duting. Anyway, we're getting on the walls now. That's a lot of archers. Dear God, that's a lot more than I thought they had. Well, I knew they had a lot, but naturally I didn't see them until just now. Wait, you weren't meant to move up like that? Come on now, get back here. Shame on you. That's what I get for not putting you in guard mode. All right, go after a few Night Goblin archers. It's probably because they vanished on me. That's usually what happens. Okay, when we break down that gatehouse, we all get to charge in and go fight a bunch of orcs all together. It's gonna be pretty violent. It's gonna be pretty violent. Come over here. I know you're gonna lose a lot from the towers, but let's go weaken them a little bit. Okay, the gates are gone. Let's go now. We're gonna lose a lot no matter what we do here. It's gonna be a pretty tremendous battle for everyone. It's a lot more damage, man. Wow. Okay. Let's go. Here's your blessed blade. Let's get you in here, buddy. Get my war sphinx in here. My Ushapti will probably take a lot of damage. They're not as durable for that type of stuff. And they're fighting black works too, who are already being destroyed though, so that's actually a pretty good sign. The cough could work. Go do your stuff. Thank you, archers. You keep on doing your job. Okay, come over here and kill them. Don't let them vanish. I know you moved back, but go back in. Okay, all of you move over here. I'm going to have all of you climb up. Kepper Guard, I'll probably have you join in too. Come over here. I could let my archers avoid the battle, but we're not doing that right now. Oh dear God, look at those shots. They're beautiful. Yeah, if they want to hit me, let them try. I'm fighting a lot of big ins. That's going to be a pretty tough fight, I think. Let's go. Oh, we killed all the orcs over here. Nice. Except for that one big in. Come on, get him, buddy. Wait, I kind of want to watch this play out. Get him. Don't you shot at him. That's rude. He just kind of looked down and going shrug. Oh, there we go. That time they got him. Bone boys are nothing to gawk at. Shop teeth taking too much damage, man. I'm going to patch you up a little bit or help you out. And then I want Setra to deal more damage. Get over here, buddy. Come over here. The cop is still fighting, right? Yeah. Make sure you're still fighting. Shop you're still fighting too. Tomb Scorpion, you're having your time. But not the time of your life. Could begin to attack over here, I think. Could arc those shots, begin to hit more of them as my normal archers go after just basic night goblins. Come over here, warriors. Go in. At a few locations. Kepper Guard, I want you over here too. We took over there one tower. That didn't take long. We're killing all these night goblin archers who are still alive. I wonder if my shop can actually hit these guys. I'm moving up pretty close, so it looks like one of them can. My chosen of the gods can. My other unit cannot, though. Whoa, you can see their shots just kind of hit back here. That's pretty cool looking. All right, I'll switch you over here where you can wait and attack. Okay, so here's what we're going to do now. I want to capture a few towers. I'm going to bring you guys over here then to go capture these towers. And you over here to go capture that tower. The rest of you will begin to move down. Let's go down and kill some trolls. That shouldn't be too bad. Let's go. Okay, Ushapti, you need to actually move out now. You're taking too much damage. Boom. Kill up everyone who's close by. All right, Team Scorpion, I'm going to help you out a little bit. Monk spell, my bad. Do that. Force Sphinx, you keep on dealing more damage. There's just so many for me to kill. Just keep on killing. You weren't meant to move that far. It's only one issue with my animations is that they move really, really far. 
etc. Good work. Bunch of black works. Jeez, is it ever. Yeah, use your blade. That's going to really mess them up. Alright, while you do that, let's go over here. Use your Toon Strike and cause Terror. Shop T, you'll come back in in a minute. Just kind of move out for now. I don't have any Necrotector to take care of you. Two Scorpion Guild keep on fighting. If you can attack him, that'd be great. I know you can't really do too much right now. Not where you're at. Okay, so we have a lot of enemies that are still attacking me. I'm still trying to go after all these archers, too. We'll blast it all. I'm gonna try to kill them. I can't summon in my Ushamti. We haven't lost enough basic units to do that. All right, I'm capturing a few other towers, and then we can move down and bring in more infantry. That's my goal right now, is to go after their towers to prevent any more losses. Who's actually getting me? Oh, it's the Orc Shaman or... No way, it can't be. I don't believe that for a moment. That's why I wish I had my Kimmerian War Sphinx. He's doing a lot of damage, don't get me wrong. It's just he could be doing more. Yeah, let's get over here real quick. We're gonna check out the battle. Do all that. Team Scorpion, go handle what you need. And over here, we have my warriors still fighting. I'm gonna bring down more Tomb Guard. Oh, did he just stomp on me? I think he did. That's a lot of damage. Okay, Kepra Guard, come on down. Let's go. We'll go after some archers. Go we'll kill them all. We'll come over here and kill some more archers, and you'll come over here and kill those archers. Great work. Okay, let's go heal up everyone who's nearby. Great, that works out too. Yeah, the animations are just a little bit easier to utilize whenever you have a Kimmerian War Sphinx. Like the one I have here. Just kind of thrashing about, killing all of them. I really want to move in my Ushamti through the front lines. Ushamti, go over here. Ushamti, great boy, so I want you to move in. Make sure to kill some big ones. I think that would be cool if you could do that. Come on down and let's go fight. And over here, come on. Then over here, let's go. Yeah, they're hitting my guys. Let's go take care of them real quick. You'll come over here, you'll come over here. Just go chase them and they'll eventually all run away. Here's more Tomb Guard. Here we go. We're finally breaking them all down. I knew that it would be challenging, but man, look at all the orc bodies here. Cetra's been cleansing. At least we know when we fight Grimgore and friends, we're going to have a pretty challenging affair. We might even lose a few battles. Hey, how about that notion? And we beat him. That's all over. So Galbraz is now one. It's a very important location to vampire counts and the followers of Arkin or Nagash. Oh, I see them. The Pretendians. Yes, I see them in their gilded towers with their shiny banners and their glittering horses. Tosh, Tosh, and gaudy nonsense, I say. Yet yeah, those horses are pretty weird. <laughs> what a ranter. What a strange man, I say. We lost 192, deployed 1,604, they lost 978. Again, I wonder why they, they took out like the little kill counter. That's so weird to me. I have no clue why they did that. It's such a weird choice. Decisive victory. Okay. Time. Oh my god, I can make so much money. But anyway, we're going to do that now. No unique buildings for me, but look at that. We can get more Ushapti here. It's tier 4, so I can actually unlock some more scorpions and other things like that too if I want it. I do want a few knights. Oh, that would be great to have. Anyway, we have a full location under our control. Let's go work on public order for now. Okay, that shouldn't take him. Actually, hold on, while we're here and healing up, we need to work on replenishment. Worship a job. Okay, level 29. You nearly have resurrect. I've been waiting for that for a while now. Okay, what am I going to give you? Your archers are very good, like insanely good. Ancient stone. That's for your archers to deal even more damage. And we shot to great bows. I only need one though. Crap, that's kind of a tough one then. You're rank seven. I could just give it to my basic infantry. To yeah, there's plenty of them at rank seven. Here we go. A dream of glory attained through conquest. Great rage is still. Despite the dying of the light. More armor and speed and missile resistance. That feels very good for my basic infantry, so we're going to do that. Anyway. While you have that going on, you can then get resurrected, which is what I wanted to replenish units nearby. Then I might either go for magic. I have 11 points left. So, I might instead... Hmm. 
Might instead opt to go down. Indomitable will. I'll have to think about it. All right. Nikov. Yeah, I have to look at my mod list later whenever I know what's updated. There's like some that aren't a big deal to add. I usually try to avoid any unit mods. I did it for my Britannian or campaigns, which if I did, then those campaigns would have been fine, but I did not. I made choices, man, and I should have known better. But I didn't know that we would end up being bogged down in a few wars. Things like really slowed down after a period of time. I was like, oh my God, it's, it's pretty slow. It's been a lot of great fights, but slow. Like fighting in Ulthuan is Bretonians. Dear God, it's taking forever. I really wish it wouldn't though. It's largely replenishment based because that's not really seen as like uh, a climate that we can thrive in, which I find to be a little bit weird. I'm like, okay. It's magical and magic can work against your foes, sure, but I don't believe that's really why it's an unpleasant climate for us. That one felt a little bit more arbitrary because Ulthuan is mostly a very beautiful place. I mean, it does like vary from kingdom to kingdom, like which part you're in, like the northern end of it in Nagareth. Inhospitable for sure. Or just unpleasant, really. Inhospitable to me is a little bit more extreme, where it takes a lot of work to actually thrive and live there, I guess. But we're just kind of like traveling army through. But... Okay. Back to us again. It's so cool just watching how my kingdom is beginning to grow. Let's go back over here and just look at it real quick. Oh dear God, that's not the right direction. We own all of this, man. We don't have the mountains yet. I've left that to the Skaven for now, but we're going to get that eventually. And conquer all down here. Then we're going to consume the mountains too. Oh, vampire counts? Whoa, where are they at? Where have I encountered them? Did I like meet an agent? Like what's up? I have no idea. Hold on, we have another little buddy over here somewhere. All right, ah, here you are. Found him, okay. Now we just want you to move over here. You're going to explore everything, then come back, and then I'll probably be ready for you, but yeah, there we go. Let's go look. Cetra is way over here, too. What am I going to do for you, friendo? Old pal of mine. Are you ready? Yeah. We got to go do it. So yeah, we're going to be fighting out a lot of battles manually because I don't really have a choice or if I want to stay and like recruit for like three, four turns, then sure, but I don't really want to do that. It's not my idea of a fun and ideal scenario. So the Battle of Dragonhorn Mines is where we're at right now. Burn, burn with the fire to change. Scream your hymns to the Zinch. Tell Gotha the Fallen. Icky Ed Butt. Ah, yes, the old Icky Butt. Okay, let's go after these two locations by the gate as I'm going to break down the gate or it is likely that I'll break down the gate there's all my archers over here I've given him a lot of tomb guard a lot of basic units to fight this is Shopti and Carrion my two caskets will begin to attack too come over here and over here you two go to the front lines and archers I'm going to move all of you about over here. Let's see if you can actually do something where you're at. If you're over there together. Go into guard mode. That'll help out. Shopti, you'll kind of come to the middle. We'll fast forward a bit until we get to the front lines. Then I'll be ready. Oops. Did I not tell you to move? My bad. Thought I did. Come over here so that you can attack things. Oh, dear God. Go caskets. They're already destroying a lot of units. Heck yeah. I've got two of them. I should really spread them out, but there's so much fun to just watch as they work together as a duo. It's icky, Ed, but what's for dinner, boss? Good old thrashing. That's what's for dinner. Look at that shield. It's a hilarious shield. I don't think I've ever looked at a little shield. Oh, if you haven't went flying, is he going to get back up? Nope. Nope, he's very dead. Very, very dead. Come over here, buddy. Get over here. Shot to you, too. Okay, caskets, let's have you not hit my own units. So you can attack. Do they have any archers? Not really. Come over here if you want to try to hit stuff. Oh, Assyrian's Legion will destroy all the work boys. They have no shot now. Now I know that for sure. There goes my Ushop to you. Let's just watch him fight for a little bit. Nice work. Archers are still attacking. Killing off all of their friends on that side. We're taking their 
towers, hopefully soon, so that we're not going to be attacked by that anymore. Okay. Let's bring all of you over here, kind of in between their blasted towers. Come over here, go get this goblin archers carry, and that's what you're here for. I still have my Tomb King, King Gwakov, fighting with his Ushabti in the middle. I could bring in my Kepra Guard. You know what? I'm going to bring in my Kepra Guard, like, right in the middle to go fight. Oh, heck yeah. Okay. Friends, I know you're having a tougher time. Assyrian's Legion is destroying all the Orc Biggins and Orc Boys that might be trying to devastate me on the walls. But their attacks are not effective. Look at them. They're just like, ah, oh, I don't know what to do. You can't really thrash them. They don't make fun sounds. Orcs like a lot of fun sounds whenever they're trying to bully things. They don't make sounds. They just kind of grunt and moan and go, Ugh. kind of how I sound when I wake up. I think I might actually be a Tomb King every day when I wake up. Just kind of get out of bed. Ugh. Groaning. <laughs> anyway. Just probably get to look that. Alright, let's go down here. Assyrian's Legion. Oh, there's a lot of them coming over here to fight. Oh, dear God, there's a lot. They're not doing very well. Much easier battle than our previous battle, but we're not fighting Black Orcs and things like that. The towers were probably what really messed me up in the previous one. Well, largely for my Archers, I guess. Anyway, Usurian's Legion, come over here. Ushabti, they're doing much better than they were in the previous battle. The Prince is taking a lot of damage, but he's okay. Here comes the Legion. Spooky skeletons reign supreme. You should know better. I love how much bigger the biggins are than normal orcs. That's how you know they're biggins. Alright, Carrion, are you okay? I guess so. It's attacks though. I think the battle's over. I mean, there's more that can come on the way if they really wanted to. That's up to them, I guess. But largely, we've won the battle. Let's go after their leader. Shopsy, I'll have you go after whatever is still down here. I'm sure like some, like anything might try to come back. Come attack over here, Caskets. I think you can do a better job elsewhere. Or try back here, actually. Go kill some orc boys. My archers did their part. and did contribute. We didn't even need nearly as many units, so yeah, we won't have to replenish for long now. Most of them are beginning to flee. 15 kills, 13 for you. Did we finally get the leader? Oh, here comes the Ushabti again. Okay. Go take out the trolls, please. Good work. Kepra Guard, come over here. Go fight some biggins for me. They do a lot of damage. I don't think they have any armor, right? Oh, they do. My bad. I'm thinking of something else then. I don't remember what. <laughs> right, Usyrian's Legion. That's it. They don't need armor. Yeah, here's my Kepra Guard now. Clearly much smaller. I feel like by mass alone, the orcs will be able to break through a lot of my ranks. Lore-wise us having the numbers to completely eradicate them. Okay, good work, Caskets. You get a lot of kills. I'm sure you probably hit a few of my guys, but that's to be expected. Okay, decisive victory again. Henry. Henry wins again. Look at that goblin face, man. Do you brush those fangs? Come on. The horrors and the wonders they must have seen is Phoenix Guard. How I wish they would only speak of it to mortals not get to with such foresight. A Man Among the Elves by Herwig Algner. I alone shall restore Mehika. We get to occupy it. Should have told us we now have another location under our command. I'm still trying to get more money to build other things, but yeah, we're just going to maintain happiness as we move up so we can move a little bit faster, not having to linger all around. Alright, so we're going to have... King Satap come over here to Krad Talman. Yeah. And I'm going to have Atap come over here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's kind of bad. All right. Well, to pass through quickly, if we can, we'll lose a few. I'll probably entomb myself and try to replenish. Oh, Clan Morris might be going after Lamia. 
I might move my new army over here to conquer through here, but I'll need I might need to move one back actually to help me conquer the rats. You know what, Hutep, I think I might actually just move you back down to Qatar. You're not that far. Because Clan Morris is on my next target that we'll have to fight pretty soon. Okay, Cetra, you're over here replenishing. You'll be ready in one turn. Great. Nothing for me to build. We can get more Ishafti later. I'll probably get another king later, too, to go deliver more units to the front line so that I don't have to stop. I don't want to stop, but that's my goal, is to have one guy just kind of go back and be my delivery dude. One turn to go, and then we can fight that battle. I want to get Krak Isgall as well. Okay. Let's go look at where I might be able to build in completed provinces, like back at home. Need to fix my map all the time. Yeah, that gets annoying. All right, so I'm building two new pyramids now, or rebuilding them. I mean, they should be there by default. It would be cool if they were there by default and you just had to conquer those locations. Because you're not actually rebuilding, or maybe in a in a way, it's like you uncovering it from sand. That's how I'm gonna like put it in my own head cannon. The buildings are there. I get a lot of Necropolis Knights, that's pretty cool. Just checking for anything that I might have missed. We do have over here, the Vault of Nagash. We have so much more magic now in reserve. That's pretty darn good. Okay, let's begin to work on public order stuff. I could get rid of that statuary, I think I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna keep my Tomb Guard, but I'm gonna get rid of the statuary as much as I don't want to. We did pick up a new statuary, so at least we're kind of bouncing it out. Tier 4, okay, let's go ahead and work on it for here. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Boom. Make more money, 150. That will help out. Yeah, so we're going to try to get our Black Tower of Arkin built. Christopher Araby's over here. They still have their stuff. Virus is good. Coffer is good. The Adeline Mountains, I believe they're largely good. Yeah, there's nothing like really unique that I need to worry about over here. Okay, make more money. Probably want more Tomb Guard pretty soon, but... Numas has a unique location that I want. Yeah, go ahead and let me look at it real quick. Get rid of that. Springs of Eternal Life, what about you? Nope, you forgot my marble. Qatar's over here. They have one, yeah. I'm probably gonna need tier three for it. Let's go look at what it is. Yeah, another pyramid. A pyramid of King Har. This monument, much like the man himself, is defined against the otherwise unstoppable march of such as armies. Nice. More income from all of my buildings, too. I'm gonna need a lot of money to build that. Okay, I need more jars before I wanted to like invest in any new thing. We're nearly ready, though, for a new turn. We've conquered more of the Badlands. We're gonna keep on moving up. The Vampire Council no longer fighting the Empire. I wonder if they saw me coming. I mean, that's gonna be pretty scary. It's like... We're not fighting orcs now. The orcs are gone. The orcs are being eradicated, and they now have a huge threat. They should be here maybe in a few turns, I think, because if they're fighting in Talea, they'll probably be back over here. I don't mind actually letting Talea live. If they want to, like, stick to their lands and take what belongs to the Border Princes, I might even allow that. See, I don't really agree with that. I'll have to try to find a sensible mod that's a little bit more logical. I could see like really cold places or really hot places as being a little bit horrible for Tomb Kings, but not so much like over here. Maybe swamps too? I don't know. Oh, they got my walls. Tomb Scorpions are now stronger. Oh, just my walls. Okay, well those will repair on their own. Barely any damage too. You big you get. Okay. Let's go. It's going to take you a while to get over here, but let's go. We're scouting out the entire map now. It's like a big chunk of water over here for no real use or purpose. I wonder if there's actually treasure over there. That'd be like a neat way to... Anyway. Cetra the Imperishable is now ready to move on. Let's have Cetra come up to Ekrand. As we get closer to our enemies, our mini enemies. I'm about to build walls near the front lines. I'm not too sure yet. Or at least a citadel. More ammo. Leadership goes down for my foes. Anyway, here's walk off. All right, whenever we're back, we'll keep on playing. We'll keep on doing more. Leave a like and comment down below. And let me know what you think I should be doing. And as always, until then, 